What's going on everyone? I'm Talmadge and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Proxmox on your home lab computer. What is Proxmox? Well, Proxmox is a open source virtualization platform that you can use for hyperconverged infrastructure. Essentially, what you can do is install Proxmox on more than one machine and link them together through high speed networking and be able to host virtual machines across the computers and move them from different hosts, etc., so that you have high availability. For me, I only have one computer that I'm going to be using, so we're just going to install it on one, but it makes creating VMs and containers on your computer super easy, and it's essentially a server OS. So it pretty much just has a command line, and then you log into it from a web interface. Now that the overview is over, let's get on the computer and get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna be doing is going over to proxmox.com. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on the download this button. You're gonna to wanna to click on the Proxmox virtual environment and then the ISO images tab. Now there's several different images here. BitTorrent essentially is like a peer-to-peer -peer networking. We're not gonna fool with that for this video. Instead, we're going to go over to the left-hand side and do a direct download. Now there's three versions here, 7.3, 7.2, and 6.4. There's a bug that happened in the seven versions of Proxmox that for some reason will not let it install with a machine with an NVIDIA card. Now I would recommend that you download 7.3 and test it and maybe it'll work for your system. However, for me, 6.4 was the only one that worked, so that's the one we'll go with. So we'll go ahead and click download here, and then we'll wait until the download is done. I'm on a MacBook today, so we're going to be typing disk util list. This will list all the disks in and plugged into our computer. So make sure you, your USB drive is plugged into your computer when you're running this command. For today's example, our disk is disk five. So we're gonna type disk util unmount slash dev slash disk five. Oh, it looks like that threw an error. So it says we'll type disk util unmount disk slash dev slash disk five. Now we're going to type the command to write this to our computer. So that's sudo dd if equals, that's in, input file equals. And then we're going to do our path to our file. So for me, that's slash users slash talkelly3 slash documents slash proxmox. And the name of the file, which is proxmox dash v e6.4-1.iso iso then we'll do a space and do of which is the output file or output location equals slash dev slash disk five and then another space and do bs equals one m and that just tells the block size to be one megabyte i'm not super duper sure on why or what that does but that's what we're going to do then we'll put in our password and everything should be good to go now we'll just wait and i'll get back to you as soon as it's done Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is as soon as your computer boots up, we're going to have to go to the boot menu and select our USB drive as the boot device. Otherwise, it's just going to boot into the normal OS that you had already installed. Then we're going to do install Proxmox VE debug mode. I chose that for this round. Then every prompt that it gives, just press control D and that will let it proceed. So we'll press control D. Runs another little bit. Go and ask us to press Control D again, and then we'll press it one more time. Now, as you can see, there's a EULA in user license agreement. So we'll go ahead and we will agree to that. Now we're going to select the target hard disk and then the time zone and locale information for our device. So for this America slash Chicago, then you'll put in your password for this machine for the first time, and then you'll confirm it and put in your email address Although this doesn't contribute to the name of the user account, unfortunately, but that's just a good thing to note. Next, we'll set the host name. So the fully qualified domain name. So whatever your domain name is on your network, that's what you're going to want to be using in this case. So I'm going to name this t3ve.talkelly3.com. My website is talkelly3.com. Go check that out if you're interested. Um, but t3ve is just going to be my virtualization environment name. And now it's just going to install. Now that it's done, we're going to go ahead and navigate to our server at 192.168.1.222 colon 8006. And the login is going to be root and then whatever password you specified at the beginning. It's going to pop up that we don't have a valid subscription for the server, but that's okay because we don't need one really. This is just for home use. If you want to pay for a subscription, you can, and that will give you access to updates. But for now, this is what we're working with. 
So pretty much we're on the main page now. Proxmox install is all done. As you can see, we have our node information. If we click on our node and we go to the summary, you can see we have the 24 CPUs of my server. We have the 62 gigabytes of RAM. The storage is a little bit off. We actually have a lot more than that, but this is just the way that Proxmox has partitioned everything, but no worries. We still have plenty of space on this device to use for VMs. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos on Proxmox, let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to be releasing a video next week on installing Pi-hole, which is a home DNS server on a container on Proxmox since my Raspberry Pi went up in smoke when I tried to install it on there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment below what videos you want to see from me in the future. I'm trying to get back into making videos for you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I'm Talmadge, and I'll see you in the next video.